Welcome back, everyone, to The Xamarin Show. I'm your host, James Montemagno. And today, I have my good friend all the way from the Dominican Republic, Leo Maris. How's it going? Hi, James. Fine, and you? I'm doing great. It's sunny here. It's very hot. No fans. I don't know. How, how is it over there in the Dominican Republic? Always is very hot here. Very, very, very hot. <laughs> is it humid? Like, like uh, sticky, too? Yes, yes. And now it's rainy, though. The hot, the, it's very, very nice. But it's, I don't like it, really. <laughs> I just <laughs> read Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm excited because I've been reading your blog. People may know you from askazami.com. Back there, I see, I see it back there, too, on your plaque. Uh, I've been following your blog for a long, long time. I love the Let's Learn Together, you know, and you've been doing amazing blog posts. And I was like, I have to have you on. Uh, to the to the Xamarin show to show off some cool stuff. Hi, thank you very much. I'm so great. I'm, I'm blushing that you told me that, but it's a pleasure for me that you can learn, you and other people can learn about my blog. It's my, my main goal, and I learn too. <laughs> Which is awesome. I love when people, you know, try something out and tell the world, and, and it inspires other people to, to start out. So I think I love it. I saw that you were doing a lot of UI reproduction stuff. How did you start doing that? Yes, I really love it. And in the main goal is that, is that somebody did, you know, that some people say that, oh, I can't create a beautiful UI with somebody, but this is a lie. I really love to replicate it. And in my blog, I always try to replicate um, some week, some to. Um, two weeks ago, I just replicated one, and I always try to replicate it just to demonstrate that we can get it with summer informs, and I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. And now I think you're going to do, actually show us how to create some really cool UI, right? Yes, I will be creating a user profile UI, so um, we'll be learning about how to do it. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get your screen up, and uh, I'm excited. Here, I just want to create a little presentation about me. I'm Leo Maris Reyes, software engineer, Microsoft MVP, Platzi Master Coach, creator and writer of the Salmon in Black, AskSami.com, CEO and founder of Steamel, a business from software development, technology content editor, and Samarin certified mobile developer. I'm so happy to be here. So let's start to replicate in our app. Here, I have a user profile UI, which will be developing in this section so the first that we have to to do is just break it down just analyze the ui which we will be replicating here i just have four blocks the first is that profile picture the second is that content information frame search is phone and mentions buttons and the last is a content information we will be developing each of one step by step so to start we will to create it to replicate it the main structure here i just have a picture with two lines and the first line is just the profile picture and the second line is the frame which will be containing the content information so to create the main structure and to continue replicating the other box we now will be go to visual studio to start coding so let's see here i have already created my project the name is user ui sample and i also have already added my assets that i will be using in the development of this ui i have the correo that is the equal to email the profile picture and the phone icon so here i have as a main structure the unstack layout so the first step to replicate it is to add an image here the source name is Kari. this image needs an aspect e and is an aspect field and i just want to add a little key request and done our image is ready so the second control that we have to add is a frame this frame doesn't need a shadow that's why here we just will be putting in false the shadow also it need a corner radius will be a corner radius and in this time i need that the frame overlap a little the image previously added that's why here i will be using a margin and the top value will be negative 
to get it. And finally, the vertical option must be filled in a span. And my frame is done. Okay, I just have to give enter here. And done. I just have the main structure created. Now we have to include the content information required in our UI. If we can, we can see this. I have to create it um, UI divided into rows and columns. Here I have the button information into six rows and three columns. It's technique uh, help us a lot to understand why I will be creating the grid with this dimension of rows and columns. So here I just will be working with a grid and will just six rows and three columns. So let's see. So now we have to add our grid and here add six rows in our row definition with an out value. Okay, it's almost finished. Yep. So let's continue with the column definition. Are just three in this time? One, two, three. And done. Our grid structure is already done. So let's continue with the buttons. Message and font buttons. It's important to pay attention that this button have a circle shape. So to get it, we have to create an effect with the height, the width, and the corner values. The height and the width must have the same value and the corner value must have the half of these values previously added. So let's add in the first time the columns that is the last columns in this time the number two and let's add the head request and the width request and finally the corner radius it's missing something very important that is the background color here i just have created an static crystal with my colors we can see here i have a corporate color and i just have to put copy the key name and done. So the image source is missing and a vertical option as a start and horizontal options as an end. So our button is done, but it's missing a very, very important property that is the margin. The objective of the margin in this time is to create an overlap with the other image previously added. In this time, I will be adding a 15 and done. Here we need other button. So to do it, I just will copy this and paste. We'll have the road in the same column, but in this case, let's change the image name. In this case, is Korea and the horizontal option of this may be a start so our buttons are added now let's continue with the contact name so let's continue with adding the label with the contact name in this case the read row will be with one and the read column will be continued with zero but in this time the column span will be with three and the text with the name is Kari White um, Kari. let's add a font size with 25 and font attributes as bold and something important is missing that is the little penny with this values Carry by is done. So to continue with this, let's include the label with the location information. The row will be the two and the column 
use the zero in this case the root column span will be with two in the text with New York the text color here I need a silver color let's include a party oh wait just doing it and top oh, with them so in this time we just have created the name and the location of the content so let's continue with the others the next step is a label with the email in, the, in this case the column zero but it's important to put attention in this is a label with an email header with a bool and the email value with a no bool property so that's why here I just will be using a label with a format text and here I will include a spam with a text email and the folk attribute as a bool and the other spam just with a text with the email carry white oh look that con and done something is important the grid column spam will be with three so we need to include also in padding with yes okay and done this is missing something here that is the text color with uh, silver and done let's continue with the publication the followers with our content let's continue now let's add the publication labor in the next row that is the number four and the column zero text publications and the text color this time is silver but is also missing a font attributes as a bold and finally and horizontal alignment with center the padding is very important to add here okay nice so i just will copy this row to recreate the other headers one and two it just will be changing the column number in this case one and two publication will be replaced for followers and following okay and to finish is just missing the value of each one of these keywords so the label um, sorry, needs a other road the number five in the column zero and the text I just will add some number Here I also need a font attributes at a ball and the horizontal alignment as a center. Okay, I just will be copying the next two columns and just will be changing the column. I need to replace this with some other and done. Um, if we can see here, we have our column of publication, follower, and following with this respective value. So now it's just missing the button to complete our UI. So to finish, let's add the last button. 
games let me tell you that i really love to do it so thank you once again for inviting me in this case the voodoo will be added in the last row that is the number six in this case and in the first column don't forget please to add the column span as three and the text to follow oops the font attribute as a bold and the vertical option in the end finally the background color i will be using the same color declared in my static wizards that is very use useful with the corporate color and um, something is missing that is my text color as a white and tada! I have created already my user profile UI in summary forms. I really love, I really enjoy everything of this development. So I hope that this section will be very, very useful for you. So James, what do you think about this? Awesome. I really enjoyed just seeing kind of step by step, seeing you build it out. And you can really build beautiful things. Thank you so much, Leo Maris. Thank you to you, thank James. It's my pleasure for me to be here, and I hope that this session will be very, very good for you. Yeah, and you have been doing a lot of these. Where can people find more of you and all of your great work? Yes, I have a blog that is my baby, that is at Kasami.com in English. And in my Medium profile, I have used the same post, but in Spanish. And you can find me there in LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram as Neumaris Reyes, and Twitter as Neumaris Reyes 11. So you can find me there, you can buy me, you can follow me. Awesome. And I will put all of those links into the show notes below and the blog post where you can follow step by step. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thanks to you, James. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and do all the things that you know you love to do, and have a good one. <laughs>